Brad Abernathy. I've um, uh, been a realtor for 29 years. I'm happy to be a part of this uh, group today, this uh, collaborative group from different parts of the country and, and different, uh, mostly different industries, um, but we all revolve around real estate. And so I created the Faces Of, and um, I created it in Gainesville, Georgia. Uh, I created it for my own purposes uh, as a realtor, trying to fight the things that all realtors come upon them. They come upon the pain of not knowing where their next lead's coming from or not knowing how to grow their sphere of influence or or not knowing how to be different because you can listen to a lot of people that says, you've got to be visible. And I could stand up in my town and be visible, but if 2,000 other realtors in my town do the same thing, then that doesn't make me visible. That just makes me a part of 2,000 other people doing the same thing, like sending out postcards and this and that and my visibility, what I need visible is I need people to to see me different and to see me authentic and to see uh, those are the things that I want to be, how I want to be visible, to be different. And so I took um, the principles I learned in, in one of the, my favorite books, The Go-Giver, and the principles I learned in Ninja Selling, um, and I took those principles and created the faces of my town. And, and it was Hall County, Georgia. And um, so that helped me uh, build an audience and build all kinds of things. So we're going to talk about that in a second. But first of all, I'd like to introduce uh, everybody here. Chad Galladay started Broker Agent Advisor about the same time I started in real estate 30 years ago. And um, he, he's graciously brought us all together today. And he's going to talk a little bit about Broker Agent Advisor when we conclude this um quick webinar. Uh, Monica Edwards is here today. She is a, a real estate coach and, and um, is a fantastic individual. Brian Weiss is my business partner. Uh, he is who I met when I figured out that what I was doing does not need to stay in Gainesville, Georgia. It needs to be in every town in this country. Um, we have Celeste Purdy with us today. We have Tracy Cushman with us today. And we have Elizabeth Dushara with us today, who are all realtors and in different parts of the country and have found us, found the faces of through the broker agent advisor system. And um, they are all our partners with the faces of, they're they're doing their own projects in their own towns. It's exactly what we we dreamed of. And so with that being said, I, you know, I, I'll tell you a little bit about um, you know, what we did. Or, or, or Monica, you might start with um, any questions you might have to start with. Yeah, well, a couple of things I do want to mention. So 16 years coaching, here's what I hear the most. I don't want to be pushy. I don't want to bother people. And I don't want to be salesy. And I don't know how to get a consistent flow of leads in the door. That's the complaint, right? And and if you look at the book, The One Thing, what is the one thing that you can do that will make everything else easy or unnecessary? And in my opinion, that answer is the face is up. Uh, because it solves all those problems where people are reaching out to you and you're connecting with your community and having an impact um, but and changing lives, literally. So I want to hear about that. So And also, Brad, be, you were on that same struggle bus before. You were paying for leads before you developed Faces Up, yes? We were paying for leads. We we didn't want to join Zillow, but we it was a big gorilla in the room, so we had to eventually join uh, Zillow and um, pay for leads. And we had I was paying five hundred dollars at the time for SEO, which is search engine optimization. I wanted people on the website. I wanted to be more visible somehow, be more visible. And I always thought that if if you're in any business in any small town, if somebody if you go up to somebody and said name three people in that business, you, you've got to be one of those names or you're not winning in any kind of marketing or any kind of strategy. And so that's, that's, you know, the you know we decided to, we decided to start the faces of, because I was tired of uh, selling my town because of the restaurants and the schools and the streets over here and the lake and all those things are great, but people said that they liked our town best because of the people here. So that's where we started. We decided to, to, to tell the story of our town through the people that live here and that work here. And we would take their smiling picture. We would ask them a few questions about what they like most about here, a few personal questions. And we would put that on a website as a, as a 
is a story on a website. And we go do that a few other times. And then we started to share those stories out to social media and through text messages and through email marketing and different, different ways. We would share those stories in the hopes that people would be, you know, number one, a smile is very contagious. And so a smiling face is great. My local people would recognize maybe that that person. They might say, I need to know more about the person. I'm going to put a name with a face or put a fact with a name. Um, and so we asked them fun questions and, and, and we asked them a way that we asked them questions about what their favorite restaurant in town is too, just stuff like that. So it would also help other people. And so we started putting it, putting it out in a way that I felt like it, the only reason I want to do this is to be visible and different. And I wanted a thousand people on our website, uh, once uh, every month, a thousand people. And within a few months of doing this, we were seeing 4,000 people a month on our website. It quickly became 6,000 people a month on our website. And in a market where I've got 40,000 people in this town, that's a big deal. And so we just, we stopped everything else. We stopped SEO, we stopped Zillow, we stopped everything else and concentrate on this and um and just pouring into people and giving them value every single person you highlighted loved you forever because you gave them a value and you know i see yeah i see um people will say that you know people do business with people they know like and trust and this is a program that helps people know you like you and trust you and and you know I'd like to ask Brian because he gets this question a lot. It's helping us is how does this platform help you build trust in your community? Well, I feel like if you've ever been through a Ninja installation or you've read The Go Giver, it's all about taking your focus off yourself and placing that focus on how you can serve other people, right? And Ninja is really big about serving your your sphere of influence, your two hundred, but it's serving in that way being interested in them and showing up for them in, in the way that they need you to show up for them. And the only way you can do that is by finding out what they need. Right. And so when we shake, when your focus shifts away from what you can get to what you can give, um, it is, I mean, it's been proven. Um, that's the fastest way to build trust with another human being. And today's human capital climate, I think trust is the most valuable thing we have to offer um, mm -hmm. is to demonstrate that we're trustworthy. I think there is a huge appetite to find people we feel like we can trust and it makes our our overall world feel better. And so you take, how do we establish trust? We put focus on other people and then how do we offer value to an entire community? How do we offer value at scale? Well, if we give the, if I, we give our community an opportunity to learn about the other positive people that occupy our community, um, that's something valuable. I think as humans, we all feel, we want to feel like we're a part of something. And in a foundational way, it starts with where we live. And so as you begin to tell the story of your community by, by shining a bright light on the positive people that live in your community, it grabs the attention of everybody else that lives in that community with you because they want to know who these people are. And when you read one of our interviews and you get to learn some personal stuff about the person you're reading about, and then a week later you see him at a kid's sporting event or you see him at a restaurant, you feel like you know enough about him and you, you, you have enough in common with them that you could go up and talk to him. They're not a stranger to you. You don't, you don't feel as though you're a stranger. And so now people that otherwise never knew each other before are having conversations in the grocery store at a restaurant. And so we're actually bringing the community together, which makes people feel even better. Um, and so when we can consistently deliver value at scale and demonstrate that our interest is is squarely focused on, on the value of, of others and what they need and desire, we sort of rise up. Our, our influence in that community of people um, bubbles up and we become someone that people want to be around. Um, and this has been proven over and over, whether it's Ninja Selling or the book The Go-Giver, How to Win Friends and Influence People, the more consistently we can put other people's interests um, as part of our focus, the faster and more likely it is that that group of people is gonna want us to be a part of their world. And therefore through reciprocity, they're gonna do things for us. Uh, they're gonna demonstrate their appreciation for us. They're gonna try to help us also. And so you just create this environment where um, you're differentiated, you're valued, you're appreciated. And as a consequence, you become someone people want to be around and do business with. And the outcome of that as Brad's production is evidence, started this project in 2015. You were in the mid to high 20s in production. The last three or four years, the team's done over 60 million in production, right? Like 
to say that well, it's had an impact on Brad's business would be an understatement. He's the top producer in his market by a, a fair margin. Um, and it's an outcome. It's evidence that these principles work. And so if you're an individual product. watching this, sorry, it's a byproduct, right? Of impacting lives. I know Brad's got some stories and ladies, I don't know if you have other stories of people telling you how it really changed their life. Um, and I don't know if we, Brad, you want to share yours or one of the other ladies? Well, you know, just there's different, it's just amazing. I think people, people need four things in life for real. They need water, they need food, they need shelter, and they need attention. And I think in today's society, we're, we don't get much attention. We don't get much recognition. So if I'm the one giving it to them and it's given to them for free, it's, I'm not asking them to do anything for me. I don't, I don't even talk about what I do. I'm just highlighting them. I'm giving them attention and then giving them the key to the town for the, for a week or for a year or, you know, they're, they're on there forever. Um, they just, you know, we interviewed a guy not long ago. This everybody had recognized him because he took the groceries out from Publix to all the shopping carts that took him out. He was just happy, 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 retired. We interviewed him. We went back later on and asked him what he thought because everybody in the grocery store was saying, Hey, Jimmy, you know, <laughs> I didn't know you like, you know, like this or like that. And, you know, he, he said to us it was the highlight of his life. Mm -hmm. And, to us, it was a simple 30 minutes, you know, we spent adding him some, you know, so it, it's, you know, it's Think very, very that, powerful. Man, right. <laughs> and a retired man who people are probably overlooking, thinking, oh, all he can do is be a bagger. He's had this incredible life before him that no one's recognizing. And suddenly people are going, hey, you're the one, right? Changed his life. That's impactful. The business is a byproduct of impacting lives well that's what that's what makes the connection right that's that's not just jimmy that's going to be a client with brad for life now and wants to give back to brad like brian was explaining it's all those other people in the community that get to see and hear about jimmy and oh by the way at the same time brad and his program through the faces of so but what Brian was talking about earlier, it's not just words. It's if you go out there and you give and give to your community and give to the people, uh, that it's going to come back. And I don't believe you could talk with anybody who's been in the business more than 10 or 15 years and not find out that that's a key element of their success and still being in the business is that they put the time in to develop the community. Sure. You can create fancy Facebook ads and funnels and different gimmicks and stuff that works short term and brings leads in and keeps you cold calling and doing all that. Or you can get serious, invest in your community, invest in yourself with a program like uh, Brad and Brian have over the faces of and slowly but surely make an impact in your community and build your audience in the process. Um, a, a couple of the people who are in the program are here today, Tra uh, Tracy Cushman, Celeste Perdee, and I think they probably have a few great things to share. Um, I'd first like to kind of introduce everybody to Elizabeth a little bit. She's part of our recognition program, and she's going to be somebody that you guys are going to get a chance to meet as you move through our program. Uh, Elizabeth, would you like to say hello? Hi, everybody. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really grateful for the opportunity to be working with this group of people, and it's just been amazing um, past couple of weeks for me um, getting started and learning everything about it, and what a great group of people um, Chad has brought together. It's just absolutely amazing. It amazes me that there's so many quality people out there, and it's he's got them all, and it's just been a lot of fun, and <laughs> it's overwhelming almost, you know, to see all the good people that he's brought together. It's really great. I'm excited to be part of it. Well, thank you, Elizabeth. And Elizabeth's out there in Tempe, Arizona. She's been, she's been doing it for 30 years out there. She's, she, she's the one that can attest to this program, why it works and, and how it's going to make you successful in the long term. Uh, Brian? Well, I just, I feel like, like in the simplest way, the success we all dream of happen is ha having is on the other side of the value that we create. And it's it, like being good at your job is, is not enough, right? Like, like understanding contracts and just being a good realtor 
like that's the expectation when people come to you is that you can walk them through a transaction in a productive way and, and help them find the desired outcome. Like the value creation has to extend beyond that. And there's a million ways through a real estate transaction that you can go above and beyond in a way to establish that you're valuable and you care. But, you know, on the front end, why do they choose you? Right. And, and they're going to choose you because of the impact you've made on the community in, in some way. Um, if you're trying to do this at scale and do it consistently and and those that are trying to figure that out, you know, we would it would be an honor to obviously spend some time with them and, and talk to them about how that might work. I would like um, both Celeste and Tr Tracy, you know, having been through the broker agent recognition program, understanding kind of what that looks like. And so for anybody watching this, they can be a resource from that perspective. But then also deciding as part of that is, is the faces of as a sponsor and they're Sponsorship benefits available if you're going through that program with Chad and, and Elizabeth and Broker Agent. Um, there are some benefits to onboarding with us, but they effectively elected to add us to their to their mix, right? To make us part of how they wanted to show up in their market for their people. And I would love for y'all just to spend a couple minutes on, like, as a realtor, that's produ that's producing, right? A successful real estate agent that's had success. I would love for each of you just to talk a little bit about what attracted you to it. What was the, the the message that originally kind of piqued your interest, if you will, and now having done it and, and seen kind of how this plays out in real life, what have you learned and, and kind of what are your thoughts? And, and Celeste, I would ask you to go first. Okay, awesome. Well, I um, was super excited about it because I've always felt like I've been, you know, kind of like a community cheer cheerleader anyway. I know a lot of people. My background is 25 years in corporate HR. So I've always been a people person and know a lot of people. But I always knew when I started real estate that the bread and butter of my business, I wanted it to come from referrals, not from paying leads to get business. And so I thought that this program would be a great program because, of course, my clients are going to be a referral but as people saw me doing what I naturally love doing anyway, is connecting people and spotlighting people and highlighting people, that additional business would come from that source as well. And so a real good example is um, I have a lender that I work with and he recommended, oh, Celeste, you should interview Natalia. And, you know, at first, you know, I'm like, well, she's another realtor. Why would I interview her? But I had to. She works for a builder and all she does is new construction and Everybody right now is asking for new construction. So I interviewed her and she remained top of mind. I had a client that was relocating from Hawaii and Natalia was the first person I thought about. Natalia, can I bring her to your community? I mean, literally my client came into town two days. We went and visited Natalia. She flew back to Hawaii and now we're under contract. But that probably would not have happened if I just had relationships with lenders. But this lender knew that I was looking for people that were unique, looking for people that had an interesting story that I could share. And if he hadn't connected me with Natalia, I probably would have never gone to her community. <laughs> so I feel like the Faces Of not only allows me to spotlight people that are really interesting, but when I go out and do what I do every day, like you know, networking, I'm listening differently. I'm listening for people that as I'm meeting them, wow, let me hear about their story. I, I'm asking different questions. I'm meeting more people. And honestly, I feel like I'm the mayor of the Golden Strip. <laughs> so. I um, it's, it's interesting you say it that way because I've had a similar experience in Buford. But what I find fascinating, and I've always wondered, do you, do you feel this as a realtor? But I know more about Buford and like some of the stories on how the community came to be and, and who the major players are. And I've met more people than I could have ever dreamed. Um, but as a realtor, that's a really enviable position to be when you can talk about your community in a different way than the other realtors in your market because of what you learned. But um, Tracy, I welcome you had a kind of a different plan and a different vision for this. And so I really appreciate both of you guys being here. And please share kind of what, what were you what was it that you felt like you were getting into or maybe that you that appealed to you? And then kind of how has it played out and, and kind of, you know, just share your experience. Sure. My big uh, takeaway from all of this was I am such a, a community member of Eden Prairie. Eden Prairie is such a huge community-based city, and it's one person helping another. And through doing just the basic interviews, you know, you're getting to know the history of your community. You're sharing it with others. 
you're connecting. For me, it's networking other people with other people. Uh, there was a senior who was a, a piano teacher and we lost our newspaper and it was one of her big ways of getting uh, information. Now she was able to share this via social media for her and getting more business. And she actually made a friend uh, through the community, through the senior center, who was also another faces of, and it's grown their network. So it's growing my network in in between because now I'm a prominent face within the senior, you know, facility there that they have, but it's just growing people and meeting people. And, you know, the funniest thing is in these interviews, People, I'm able to find out using, you know, just my <laughs> overall knowledge of over 20 plus years in real estate, finding out what makes you so unique. And each person sometimes doesn't realize how unique they are. And the faces of has really given me the opportunity to celebrate these people for the greatness that they've achieved, even if it was just something so minor. But I've met, I've met with coaches, I've met with teachers, you know, I've got other um through the program, I've met with our high school and I have programs with the intern program that work directly for me. So they are constantly giving me unique people and individuals that I get to meet with on a daily basis. But also I'm also a member of the Chamber of Commerce and it also gives me a way for them to market their company. And the greatest thing that those businesses have taken away is it's free for them. Every time it's always, how much is this going to cost me? How much is it going to, it's free for you. So it's been a great way for them to grow their businesses while I'm growing my presence within my own community that I've been a part of for the past 20 plus years. My business just celebrated its anniversary today. So it's, a, you know, another 20, 21 years now uh, in of my own company. Plus I started of all days, 9-11, which we all remember where we were that day. So it was a huge, uh, it's been a huge so we've all been there in the industry. We've saw the Great Recession, the COVID, the buyers market, the seller markets. I've learned through all those industries, all those different times, how to pivot. And if you can pivot, you're able to stay in this. There's agents who just make it two years, three years. They're in it just for the buck. I'm in it for the community, for the experience. I love educating buyers. I love educating sellers. I want my clients to be thoroughly educated. You know, not just the history of Eden Prairie or the history of whatever it may be, but I want them to be able to say, yeah, Tracy sold me the house. I don't want them to say, oh, Tracy sold me this house. I hate this house. <laughs> I want them to look back and be like, Tracy sold me the house. I love this house. And they're going to refer me. And that's how, I'm not a big brand company. My company is Cushman Realty and it's a small company, but it's it's a private, small little uh, company facing, you know, the, the big box companies. And even though it's a boutique company, I'm still in business two plus decades later and and surviving and thriving and moving forward. And I'm loving the opportunities that um, the Faces Up has given me and the broker agent has given me because also with the broker agent advisor, I was able to find a seven star, another seven star agent to help my client who's relocating out of state. So I'm grateful for all of the opportunities that this has given me as a realtor in my toolbox to move forward with my industry. I am curious one thing real quick. You mentioned the interns and, and no need to spend a bunch of time on it, but obviously you got involved with your local high school and that local high school is now providing you high school interns to help you administer and run the project. Can you speak on that for just a couple, like how did that happen? And like, what does that look like in a really short period of time? I, my point is you don't have to do this whole thing by yourself. As you become the mayor of your community, there are resources available in your community that would like to see a project like this be successful and have an impact. And, and Brad has been successful in leveraging high school interns. Um, but I'm wondering how that opportunity manifested itself for you. And what is that? How does that change your role within the high school system? I'm curious. So the Eden Prairie Cha or the, the Chamber of Commerce that I belong to had a career festival day. So there were people from all walks of life, you know, presenting their business. I was actually requested because there were no real estate agents who wanted to do this. So they asked me, Tracy, will you do this? It's free. So I'm like, sure. And I decided I don't really want to promote real estate. I love real estate, but I don't see it as the force of me moving my business forward. So I promoted the faces of. And through that, I found the value in the interns. And the interns were the able to really be my, my legs on the ground while I'm conducting the interviews. They're getting me more people while I'm spending the time in the interviews. They're out there, meet this person. You got to try this person. You got to talk to this person. 
And it's amazing some of the people that they have met, brought to me that I never would have met or had the opportunity to meet without having this intern program. So I've already been through two seasons of interns, their, their fall winter program and now their uh, spring program, which was the ending with this past summer. And then I'll start up again. So now it's a permanent uh uh, a flow of, of interest of how I, I will continue to work this business of the faces of, I mean, I will still use the chamber of commerce because I still want a variety of not just who these sure. interns are providing, but I still want to be able to connect the business industry as well to networks. I feel networking is our greatest asset and the faces of it has been one of the greatest assets for that networking possibility. That's fantastic. I'm really excited for you. That's, that's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That's huge. Brad, can you tell everyone and maybe um, Celeste and Tracy can also share, because I know my experience with agents, we learn a lot. We learn a lot. We ready, aim, ready, aim, but we never implement and fire. Brad's created a system that's systematic, right? He's got the questions. He's got the, the format. He's got the website laid out. So it's really done for you. Can you, either of you speak on how easy that's been for you once you got the wheels on the bus? Yeah, well, yeah. we the f very first of all, we were we were going to give this to somebody, let them do it themselves, and that didn't work. So we took it back, and I found Brian uh, through his company, uh, digital marketing <clears throat> company in Beaufort, Georgia. And we're able to replicate everything so that we we give our partners everything that they need, plus any training that they need, you know, monthly Zoom meetings and different things like that. So. Hopefully, everything we've put together to give to Celeste and Tracy have worked. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll say it's pretty simple. I mean, I I pretty much have a, as I'm scrolling through Facebook, for example, and I see somebody share something that's really interesting, I send them a message in Messenger and say, hey, you've been nominated for the Faces of the Golden Strip. And they're like, who nominated me? I was like, I did. I was, I just saw you post something and it's so cool. And, you know, I want you to be part of this project. And so it, you know, walks them through a little script of how to get started. And I give them the password and I say, please, can you complete the interview in the next 48 hours? And 90% of the people do. Sometimes you have to follow up, but 90% um, of the people are so excited that I'm wanting to spotlight them in the community and that it's free and that I'm willing to um, include a hyperlink of their business or social media page. Um, so they're super excited about it. And they, you know, I encourage them to just go look at the page and see who I've highlighted already. A variety of people in a variety of industries. I've even interviewed Santa Claus. <laughs> That's fun. That's a great one. You're in a special place when you get access to Santa Claus. Like if that comes to tell you how valuable this platform is, that you've got enough influence that you got access to Santa Claus. Like, I don't know what else anybody else would need to hear. <laughs> um, I don't want to skirt over it, though. So, so Celeste isn't doing all the interviews in person. We've automated the interview process. So you can send a password-protected interview form to anybody you want to highlight. They can spend a half an hour filling it out, uploading a picture. And when they submit that interview form, it builds the content on the website for you. And so if you had to guess, you, you know, you're a couple of years into doing this, you've got a system, right? So... How much time do you spend a week maintaining this and keeping it going? A couple hours? Yeah, maybe maybe a couple of hours a month. I mean, I, I've got it down to a pretty good system, but it's probably a couple hours a month. A couple hours a month, and you're the mayor of the Golden Strip. Like, that yeah. seems like yeah. a pretty good exchange of value there. Um, yeah. That's a so great ROI, of isn't it? Return on investment. Yeah. And if you don't want to invest that much, Brad's got a, a complete support staff that can do other things for you. Yeah, we're working on that right now just because I think most of our partners that are not with us anymore, we did some exit interviews and stuff like that. They weren't with us. They're not with us now, because not because of it was too hard or what. Most people don't really think that the money's too much either. They think we're very well priced and... Uh, it was just the time, you know, and we all know the agents out there that, you know, they, they really, really, really want to work on a pipeline of business, but they get a call and they're out the door and they don't ever work on that pipeline, pipeline of business. And they come back two weeks later and they're like, what was I doing with this pipeline? Of, you know, if you'll create a pipeline, Monica's a real estate coach. If you'll create a pipeline and, and with a few different things that you do every week, then 
then you know nine months from now is really going to be good for you. And, but most people in the real estate business can't see past that next deal. I mean, they, they got to have that next deal. But you know, the longevity. I've you know we I've been in it. This is my thirtieth year in December. Celeste and and Tracy both a long time. The people that are successful and have a long term career in this business are the ones that concentrate on that pipeline. And and so. You know, I had a huge real estate deal that happened and it was, I've wrote about it in some of our, uh, I've shared about some of our email stuff, but yeah, I interviewed the, uh, I interviewed the assistant city manager one time. I interviewed the golf pro at a golf course one time. I interviewed the mayor one time. I interviewed somebody else that worked at the golf course once. And over the course of those interviews, those interviews were about four years apart. Well, um, lo and behold, the city that owns the golf course started meeting with the golf course people and they were wanting to redo the golf course. And they were like, we're going to have about seven acres to sell off of this golf course in, in residential lots. Who should we hire? Well, I was a common, there's 2000 agents that work in my community. I was a common denominator by all the people in that room. You know, I gave them all value and they hired me to do it. They hired me to, to consult on it. They hired me to sell them all. You know, we sold, uh, it, you know, sold $3 million worth of, lots just um just because <laughs> so you just never know you, you always got to work on that pipeline and you know the interview that i did for one of them i didn't get anything out of it back for five years later but i did get something back and and um i know mentioned i meant chad mentioned a minute ago that that jim at the grocery store might be a client of mine for life but you know what's really played out for me is that because we've been authentic because we 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 interview students, we interview retirees, we interview people that are moving out of town one of these days to go to college. They're not going to buy. We interview people that are not necessarily buyers of real estate right now. And, and that makes it authentic. Um, the, the readers of my project have given me more business than the people I've interviewed. So uh, it's not just the people you're interviewing that you're making feel happy. It's the people that are watching your story. And when we have over 6,000 people a month on our, on our website, they're watching our story all the time. That's absolutely. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So you're out there giving and doing and bringing and, uh, you know, the, the real estate comes as a, as a side product is that the business uh, you're going to gain from that. It's not that you're after the real estate business as much as you're out there being involved in your community, meeting people, the, the new restaurant that opens up. Hey, he's going to want to see you. He's going to want that free promotion that he's going to get from you. Now you've just met somebody else. Now you add them. And it just keeps going, keep, keeps adding up. And, and over time, and not too much time, you end up like Brad or Celeste, Tracy, um, being at the front of your community and enjoying those benefits that, that go along with it. Now, having an impact is the gift that keeps on giving, right? Just keeps on giving, keeps on giving. And then on top of that, you're just in the way for good things to happen just yeah. by showing up, right? Yeah. So to, le to learn more about the program, you can go to uh, brokeragentadvisor.com forward slash the faces of, and uh, you'll get, get be able to get on a call with uh, the faces of and learn more about the program and and take things from there. Brian, a little bit more about what they might be able to expect. On well, but effectively, I mean, obviously, if you're interested, it's not a pushy sales process. I would be sincerely interested. I'm a former realtor. I understand the business very, very well. Um, we've got projects now going on all over the country. And so I, I'm interested in understanding kind of where you're at in the business, what you're trying to accomplish, what you hope this will help you do. And then, um, very simply, we'll show you exactly how we do it so you can get a sense for what it would look like day to day. And then obviously talk about your options if you're interested in becoming a partner. One of the things we hadn't talked about, right? So Select is in the Golden Strip um, outside of Greenville. And there's only one community story to tell where Celeste lives. So when, when we partner with someone like Celeste or Tracy, it's exclusive. Um, it's only available to one person because there's only one community story to tell. And so if this project's not going on in your community today and you want the opportunity to kind of take advantage of that and become the exclusive partner of ours, I would love to talk to you about it. And, and yeah, go through broker agents, probably the easiest way. Um, but 
yeah, we, we'd be proud to kind of help you show up for your community in this way and um, can say with confidence that it'll have a positive impact on you and your business and the community. Like imagine a world where we have 2000 partners and we're all building community where we live. Like that is a pretty awesome way to kind of put a cherry on top of this project. Yeah, and if you're looking to uh, do some referral business out there in Greenville or Eden Prairie, you can go to brokeragentreferral.com and find Celeste, Tracy, and Elizabeth out in Tempe, Arizona, handles the major metro area for Phoenix. So all great people. Lots more also broker agent referral you can find. But to get back to the faces of brokeragentadvisor.com, forward slash the faces of keep an eye open for our emails reach out to elizabeth brian any of us uh and we'll be glad to help you along any, any I, uh, closing remarks, brad I, brian? I, just, I appreciate everybody spending an hour of their time to come together and, and try to help um i mean you guys know what it's like to be in this business a lot of times you can feel all by yourself and you can feel alone and um you can feel like there's not a lot of help out there and at the end of the day we want to be as valuable as possible, right? That's why broker agents been around for so long. Um, it, it's, it is the core that drives what we do is, is the faces of. And so hopefully the content has been meaningful. Um, Tracy, Monica, Elizabeth, Celeste, there's a lot of things you could have been doing this afternoon. And, and in typical fashion, here you are giving your time, trying to help and inspire others. And, you know, I, I appreciate it so much. Chad, obviously appreciate all the work we're, we're doing together to try to serve the industry in a meaningful way. And Brad, it's always good to see your face. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Hey, real quick, be, real quick before Brad wraps it up, we we have uh, Coach Monica K here also, and she's been a great part of our program. And where can they learn more about you, Monica? Just go um, to your website. So here. yeah, you can go straight to monicakcoaching.com or my cell phone number seven two zero three three eight two five eight six, and my admin will get us some virtual coffee. Love pouring into people. Mm, I love that. Okay. Yeah, and, and you'll be hearing more from Monica as well. So through broker agents. So so keep your eyes open. Brad, take her, take her home, buddy. Listen, all I want to say is thank you very much for all the time that everybody spent today and, and Chad for allowing this collaboration to happen. And um Celeste and Tracy and Elizabeth, thank you very much for being here. I know um, like Brian said, we're all we're all hungry realtors. So we, you know, who knows what's going on. But uh, Monica, thank you also for being here. And, and Brian, it's good to see you, buddy. Um, anyway, I hope anybody watching, I hope that uh, you know that I've been there with you. Um, I've been doing this for 30 years. So I know who the, all the struggles. Uh, people will say, Brad, you're a top producer. What do you care about? Anything? What do you, what do you worry about? I worry every single day where the next paycheck's coming from. Uh, you know, I worry every day where the next buyer's coming, the next seller's coming just like you. And, um, this helps me. It helps me in a, in a really competitive market. You know, when I started this project, we had about half the number of agents that we have right now, who knows what's going to happen with, with things this year, but, um, it's extremely competitive and you got to be different and your difference doesn't have to be your listing, uh, presentation. Your difference doesn't have to be, you know, you've got to be different enough to get the appointment to show them your listing presentation. So a lot of people, you know, they think about being different. They think about what am I going to do in my appointment? You got to get the appointment. And if you do it, like I do it, hopefully like Tracy and Celeste do it. Um, I rarely go to an appointment where somebody else is coming to it. They've already chosen me because of what I do. And hopefully, um, You've gotten something from this uh, this few minutes that you spent with us. Thank you very much. Appreciate you guys. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thanks, Chad.